All right, everybody, I'm just waiting for Amika to come on. We have an announcement about this Sunday's show. So I'm just going to wait for Amika, and then we will say what's up to everybody. Amika, as soon as you get on, leave me a comment so I can invite you. Everybody else, how y'all doing? If you come on, just give me a shout out. Send a little wave. I'm just waiting for Amika so we can do this conversation for you guys. Anybody there? I think that might be Amika. Hey. Let me go ahead and bring Amika on. Hey. There you are. Yes. Hey, everybody. Hi, everyone. Everyone, see on my page. Get some here. everybody on my page. Y'all see me live? Come watch right now. I see Smooth Ace just came. Come on on. Let's see what we got. Rura, that's Rami. You got people coming? I see somebody pop up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So everybody, this is Jane Doe, the rich sister. Yay. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I am one of a brother for those that don't know me, from me as well. Oh, yeah. So we have known each other since you were in New Orleans. Yeah, girl. Um, we were actually a part of a, a hip-hop trio. Well, was it a trio, quartet? It was a, a group. It was, it, was, it was four people, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, back in my uh, NOLA days. I haven't been gone from home yeah. that long, but, you know. What have you been doing in Florida while we waiting for everybody to come on? Um, I'm at sc a school at uh, Full Sail University. I'm getting my master's in entertainment business and recording arts. You know, okay. trying to take this music to a new level. Um, trying to learn all the business and get the business right. So that's what I'm doing. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, I know two people who might tune in. Um, mm -hmm. Rabbit and a are both also in that world. They mm -hmm. got their business degrees, and both of them are doing things out here. So Nice. I see people popping up. up. If y'all in here, say hey. Like, say comment. I see all y'all coming in. I see Sherry. I see Kawana. I saw my cousin <laughs> Tonique. <laughs> say something. Can y'all say hi? Hey, here we go. Hey, Sherry. That's my cousin. Hold on, my Uncle Charlie in here? Hold on. <laughs> hey, you Uncle Charlie. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Basically, y'all, we just promoting the podcast that we're doing on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, so Sunday, yeah. 8 p.m. Central Time. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're going to touch on this mental health topics um basically what we need to be doing mm -hmm. the issues yeah what else you got to say on that um honestly i just had a conversation with one of my good friends about it and um man it's it's serious people don't realize how serious it is it's a, it's a sickness mm -hmm. People are not weak because they suffer from depression or anything like that. PTSD, it's like, it's a real thing. And I'm speaking from firsthand mm -hmm. because I experienced it. And it is not something that you can control. And um, yeah. for the president, my God, to be making these comments, it's just, you know. Uh, PTSD hurts. specifically. Yeah, it irks me. Yeah. It irks me so much. Like, it's so bad. Yeah. Yeah, so on Sunday, y'all, December 18th at 8 p.m. Central Time, we're going to be talking about depression, PTSD, anxiety, all of it. Yeah. And how, like, a lot of these jobs, too, they don't cover you when you're out because of that. Like, if you have an anxiety attack or if you have some clinical depression issues or PTSD, a lot of the insurances or, like, the FMLA won't even cover it. Cer certain, you know, insurance carriers. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. And, and mental health, uh, one of the things that we're going to be talking about is the, ne the necessity of treating it is just as serious as physical health concerns. 
Yeah. You know, and, and the connection between the mental and physical health as well. Exactly. Exactly. So everybody who's tuning in now or will see this later, be sure to come in Sunday, uh, November 18th, 8 p.m. Central Time, so that you can chime in uh, and that we can all be together on this as a community discussion. That it's not just me and Mika. Right. So that we're all talking about this together. Exactly. It's, it's important. It's really important, especially right now, what's going on. Yeah. The, the midterm elections showed a lot. And um, it was pretty good, though. Some of it was good. <laughs> Some of it wasn't so yeah, good. Yeah, a lot of it we were standing up. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it wasn't you know? so good, but um, we still have ways to go. But I think it's it's really a lot of progression. It's good, though. And oh, oh, yeah. Women coming up, you know, people, people of color in general coming up, picking up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I think, I think we realized in 2016 there were so many people not actively involved. Mm -hmm. who now realize how important it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I saw in 2018. Yes. It's because, like, when he first got elected, I, like you said the other day when we were talking, like, you checked out. <laughs> I checked mm -hmm. out, too, because it was like, now you really have to go to your local, you know, yes. representatives, because this is serious, man. Yeah, like, somebody said recently... Oh, we were all upset about Kavanaugh being confirmed, right? Right. But he's only even up for running for that because locally, mm -hmm. people allow him to get elected. Right. Like, that's real. Yep. Yeah. So, we're going to talk about that and also how this affects our mental health. Oh, yeah. Girl, <laughs> watch, yeah. watch me. Every day on the news gives me anxiety attacks. <laughs> no um, <lie>. <laughs> <laughs> the yes, other day indeed. when I was watching the, the, the press conference he had at CNN and the guy was just asking him a simple question. He could not, he dodged the question 50 million ways. He did not answer the question. He Girl, we the question. know that this man, 25, got a mental health diagnosis yeah. that needs to be treated, you know. Yeah. And we got to touch on yeah. Kanye. Oh my God. Who's that? Kanye. Oh God. Let's see him. Yeah. He's the perfect example of somebody's mental health being neglected. Yes. Yes. And and look at look at whatever he was being treated. He had his mom, mm -hmm. he had a support system. Mm -hmm. You know, the quality of we think about him being a genius. He's a musical genius, no doubt. Definitely. But look what happened as soon as his mom is gone and now he's no longer getting his treatment. Yeah, girl. He that medication is serious. Like you, he needs it. He does, and there's, yeah. nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I don't know if he's just like, because he's a man, and a lot of times men feel like you know they're weak, but that's not a sign of weakness. You know, I mean that's, not at that's all. a stigma. So they're gonna give you your heart medication, right? You know, you gotta treat whatever's ailing you so you can be your fullest. Yeah, it's your, it's like the doctor for your brain. That's pretty much what it is. You know what I mean? Basically. It's not no stigma attached. No. Yeah, no. this is going to be good. So, y'all, Sunday, let's remind them again. Sunday, November 18th. Yep, 8 o'clock. I'm going to throw some questions out there. Yeah, get y'all questions ready. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention, Jessica has a BA in psychology, and so, does, so do I. We both have BA. Yep. So, we got a little bit of background in this. So, we kind of know a little bit about it, you know. <laughs> Well, yeah, definitely. You know. um, I work yeah. in um, the Arc of Greater New Orleans. I had to do that. I had to do community service hours before I graduated. That was part of my final project at Dillard University. I was working mm -hmm. with um, people with autism. Um, it was really, it was adults, though. It was really cool, but it was yeah. also very kind of depressing at first because you know, they're adults just like us. They can't get jobs. A lot of them had bipolar disorder. Yeah. They were autistic. But, you know, and their families had to send them there during the day because they had to work, you know? They didn't have anybody. Yeah. It's, it's crazy, but it was a learning experience. I loved it. And on, on my side of things, I worked in the counseling field, um, volunteering in the aftermath of black disasters, talking about PTSD, like people after Katrina and Rita. Oh, yeah. Just that, that psychological impact, whether or not you had a previous diagnosis, you know, having to adjust is major, you know. So, 
for everybody out there, you know, whether you're dealing with a, a consistent diagnosis or a short-term diagnosis, on Sunday, we're going to be talking at 8 p.m. Central Time about what we can do from Mika's experience, from my experience, um, the necessity of reducing the stigma and just treating ourselves with, with love. And you are not alone. You are not alone. Yeah. Not at all. For everybody, you know somebody... You want them to listen in, tell them to come to my page, come to Mika's page, and tune into the live feed. Yeah, then if, if y'all miss it, it's going to be available on uh, Spotify, iTunes, and Anchor. So you guys can go back and listen. Yep. Yeah. And YouTube. Oh, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube as well. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll keep sharing so everybody can get the information. Mm-hmm. So, Mika, thank you so much for coming on tonight to give people a heads up. No problem. This is something I'm very passionate about, so it's no problem at all. Yeah. Well, I miss you. I hope you come to New Orleans soon. I know. I am coming for Christmas, but I know last time you couldn't come to my event, I'm trying to make it an annual thing. So. Yay! Yeah. That's what's up! So next year is going to be better planned. <laughs> With the tra- Girl, I couldn't get down there. Uh, traffic. You weren't the only one, so I'm trying to think of a better way to do it. Like, Maybe on a Friday when it's not as crazy, because Saturday was crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we had the crowd out there. But I think we can we can make a crowd because like. Oh yeah. Yeah. People were like just stopping and listening. So yeah, I'm trying yeah. to get an um, annual thing. So I'm working on that too. So next time. That's um, what's up. You'll be there. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, hit me up when you get into New Orleans for Christmas too. Oh yeah, no doubt. I'll still be doing right. like portrait readings and stuff like that. I haven't even been in oh, yeah. on a portrait scene down there since I've been back. When I come back to visit, I don't never have time to go. Yeah, they got several uh, several monthly ones that come up. Yeah, I pass it on. Oh really? Um, John still does an event. Okay. Yeah, I heard, a couple of them. I heard Shakespeare's back doing stuff. That's with Lorraine's. Is that true? Yeah, I believe so. Oh my god! On Tuesdays. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I definitely got to go back to that. I love them. Yes, ma'am. Okay, girl. Y'all look out for me because you want us. When she comes out, we're going to do this again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right, y'all. Sunday, November 18th at 8 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, thank y'all for watching now. But get ready for Sunday. Get y'all questions ready. We're ready for y'all. Yes. All right, peace. All right, peace, Mika. Bye. Bye, y'all.